Hello and welcome to my demonstration. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how, as a wedding photographer, I edit my photos. Now let's get started. The first step is going to be getting your pictures onto your computer and or external hard drive safely. So what you're going to want to do is be plug in your SD card. And what I like to use them as an external hard drive. We're going to plug that in as well. We have plugged those items into our computer. As you can see, they have shown up on our desktop and we are now ready to move on to the next step. This next step is going to require the Adobe Bridge software. This software is going to act as a picking and choosing for what pictures we are going to move on to the next stage to edit with. You have opened up the software and selected your SD card with all your raw pictures with the thousands of photos you have taken from the wedding. You are going to come down and choose the photos through the whole wedding that you believe are going to make the edit for your client. For example, I'm going to be choosing this photo. All you have to do is start by rating the pictures by doing clicking holding shift or sorry holding command and pressing the numbers. I'm going to click command one and that's going to start as you see in the bottom left corner. And here's our picture. Then you're going to highlight this picture, go up to the file tab at the top, export, export custom. We're going to choose a new location, browse. And then for this sake, we're just going to put it to our desktop. And most important is to make sure your image quality is put to max so you do not lose any quality from your picture. Adobe Lightroom software. This software is going to be doing the actual editing for our pictures. What we're going to go is to add our photo that we just added to our folder on our desktop. Now we're going to select our picture, review for import, either start with or end with is putting on a filter to basically help guide what your picture wants to look like. Um, we could start by doing the colors. Basically just going to go for a dreamy, colorful picture. Um, dreamy as in we're going to add a little bit of warmth to it. Warmth signifying love. So we're going to add some more saturation under our yellows. That's basically just going to bring out the yellow color, make it more vibrant. And then for green hue, we're going to change it more to a yellow tone so that the greens are really yellow, which is what we're going for here. Uh, and again, with temperature, we can either make it cool or warm. We're just going to add a little bit of warmth over it, not too much. And then now we can attack our lighting. Contrast, we can really make the subjects pop from their background. Highlights. We're just going to bring the blown out areas a little down so that the subject again stands out a little more. And then whites again so that the blown out areas are not too blown out. Shadows because their faces are a little dark due to the sun being behind them. Make them a little more visible. And then we have our crop and basically we're just going to cut in behind this right here just because it's a little distracting and bring it more towards the center of our subject and a uh, little bit of tweaks to our exposure meaning we're just bringing the general light of the whole photo a little more down and here we can bring down our texture to really make the roughness of the photo more dreamy more soft and last thing we're going to add is a vignette which basically just brings the subject into focus by making the corners of the photo more darkened and, and that was a quick tutorial of how i as a wedding photographer edit these photos for the client thank you